we will learn two concepts today the amgm inequality and its relation with trigonometry so a very beautiful problem will be used to understand these concepts and it's from isi entrance the problem is uh, like this that you have a let me draw a triangle you have a triangle abc so a b and c and we have the angle bisector of this triangle which is cd suppose so this angle is theta and this angle is theta cd is the angle bisector cd is the angle bisector of angle c the problem asks us to compare 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 cd and the geometric mean the geometric mean of ca and cb so what is this uh, what is this geometric mean of ca and cb now geometric mean of any two numbers is the square root of the product of the two numbers this is the meaning of geometric mean of ca and cb so the question is can we say for certain that cd is equal to this can we say that cd is greater than this is always greater than this or greater than equal to this or can we say cd is less than equal to this or maybe we can't say anything for certain so what is the relationship of this cd with the square root of ca times cb and the two concepts that you will need the two concepts that we you will need to understand this problem are these two amgm inequality and the area property the area formula from trigonometry uh, why don't you pause this problem here this video here and give this a try let's go into the first part of the problem let's me, let me pull this up and let's try to first relate ca cb and cd so step 1 somehow somehow relate ca cb and cd so our strategy will be to look at the area of this triangle uh, cad so area of triangle cad now this is a very popular formula from trigonometry uh, the area of a triangle cad will be half times product of two sides so i'll just multiply ca and cd and then sine of the angle between them sine of the angle between them so sine theta uh, half of that of course similarly we can take the area of triangle bcd area of triangle bcd so similarly we will use this angle which is also theta so let me write that area of triangle bcd is equal to half of cb times cd times sin theta because this angle right here is also theta because this is an angle bisector right what happens if you add these two triangles what happens if you add these two areas well if you add these two areas you will get the area of the entire triangle abc which is half times ca times cb times sin of 2 theta so because this angle right here at the top is theta plus theta so 2 theta so that's why we have sin of 2 theta here and half of ca times so this is a 
This is the area formula of a triangle from trigonometry. Can you prove this? Can you write a short proof? Short proof of the area formula. Uh, if you can, please write it in the comment section. Uh, and you can also pause the video and try the problem now. I have given you the step one of the solution. Remember, just watching the solution will not help you. You have to try it yourself. Okay, let's see how we can proceed from here. So maybe I can pull this up a little bit. Yes. So what do we have? We have and pull this down here. Okay. So we have half of CA times CD times sine theta plus half of CB times CD times sine theta. This thing, these two things, maybe pull it a little bit down. Yeah. So you can see this. Okay. Is this is equal to half of CA times CB times sine 2 theta. Okay, so we are kind of happy because we have CA, CB and CD in one expression. At least we are able to bring everything in one expression. Okay, now let's use a little bit of trigonometry here. Sine 2 theta, this is 2 sine theta cosine theta. Okay, all right. So this is now, let's take C, let's take CD sine theta common from the left hand side. So CD sine theta common. We have CA plus CB and on the right hand side we have CA times CB and this is 2 times sine theta cosine theta. So this sine 2 theta became this thing. This is also a very well known formula from trigonometry. You can cancel off the sine theta of course cancel of the sine theta and bring this CA plus CB to the right hand side. Okay, now I will write this in a way so that you can do the next step. I really want you to be able to do this problem on your own. So this is the third part of the hint. So, C, so CD is equal to CA times CB times 2 by CA plus CB times cosine theta. See, I have written this in a very suggestive manner and you can give it a try now. Somehow manipulate this part. Okay, how do you do it? Uh, we will be using the AMGM inequality. So AMGM inequality, what does it say? we will use the most the simplest form of the AMGM inequality. It basically says that the arithmetic mean which is the average of two numbers or n numbers is greater than or equal to geometric mean and in the case of two quantities so suppose CA and CB two quantities Arithmetic mean is this, the average of them, and geometric mean is this. How can you prove this for two quantities? Can you prove the AMGM inequality for two quantities? Everything is positive, by the way. AMGM inequality, when you want to apply it, you have to be very careful. Everything needs to be positive. Okay. So if you can prove AMGM for two quantities, then put it in the comment section. Give me a short proof of it. It's very easy. Try squaring it. Okay. Now we will come back to this expression that we had here. We created this expression and we will be using this, this particular expression here. We worked hard to create this. So we will use this. Let's see how we can do it. So let's flip this AMGM inequality. So we have 2 over CA plus CB. So if we flip it, the inequality will flip. This will be less than or equal to 1 over square root of CA 
times CB. Okay, now I will gradually add the components here. So I will first multiply, sorry, I, I mean to say multiply. So I'll multiply CA times CB on both sides. So we are multiplying by a positive constant. So the inequality will not be affected. Next, we will multiply by cos theta, cosine theta times cosine theta. Can you say why does multiplying by cosine theta does not affect the inequality? I mean, this is a very important, crucial point. Can you say why multiplying by cosine theta, multiplying by cosine theta does not affect the inequality? Uh, if you can, write it in the comment section. It's a simple but crucial fact. Okay. So now we have this, but what is the left hand side? What is the left hand side? What is this quantity? Well, this quantity is CD. So we can write CD. This is CD is less than or equal to CA times CB by square root of CA times CB cosine theta. You can cancel this off. So you have this is CD is less than or equal to CA times CB cosine theta. So final step and this is also a very crucial step. We can say from here that this is less than or equal to CD is less than or equal to square root of CA times CB. I'll write here hence. Can you tell me why does this particular step here? Why does this sentence imply this one. Why will this sentence imply this one? So this is the last question that I'll ask you. Write it in the comment section if you can. Why does this sentence imply this particular sentence? Uh, go to chinta.com to access more beautiful problems and concepts and classes and um, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.